guys, my name is Nicolette Mashile. Hi guys, Mutlatsi here. Welcome to Kla Lol with Klats and Coco. I don't know if that name is still... I think it's a working name. Yeah, it's a working name for now. Guys, uh, if you can, just suggest... Some name, dope names. Some dope names. We'll see what we go with. Names that look like us. Yeah, we don't. You know what I mean? That's good. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the lockdown. It's been <laughs> quite... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we're talking about lockdown what have you guys been up to um i think for me it's been such a weird space man haven't you felt weird this lockdown i think it's 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 felt weird because it's been a law that you must stay in your house but at the same time i found i found so much solace because i like being in my house yeah you know what i mean yeah i got to you like you guys i will not tell you so what happened? What changed you? Nah, I mean, I'm a, I'm a low-abiding citizen, so... The thing with me is that... Uh, look, when the, lockdown, when the lockdown started, I was on leave. Oh yes, I remember. Right, I was on leave. And man, I spent five days in the house. Doing nothing. Nothing but drinking. Yeah, but you still had alcohol then. Yeah, I still had alcohol. Yeah. And I remember, on, it was a Sunday afternoon. So it was five days, we sat yeah. five days. Friday we drank, Saturday we drank. Sunday afternoon with Brian, and I'm some of my manager text and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Can I come back to work? <laughs> come back to work. <laughs> Can I come back to work. Yeah. And she's like, nah, no, 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 no. Take the leave. Take the leave. But I'm sitting there. Because they like, don't want to pay you for the leave days. I'm thinking they were, but the there's time. really nothing to do. Yeah. It's a waste of leave days. Monday. 10 o'clock, she hits me up. Yo, do you want to still come through? <laughs> Jumped Pull in the through. shower quick. <laughs> I jumped in the shower quick. So I've been going to work. Yeah. I've been going to work throughout. So for now, it doesn't really... It didn't do, it didn't do anything to me. But you just, I, I but still I mean, had freedom of movement. But you did, you had freedom of movement on things that like work. But let's... Nah, for everything. Yeah, but, but, you, but there isn't going out because there's nowhere to go out to. But I was never... Uh, go out person yeah i think that's also true yeah so but do your friends come to visit <sighs> nah they didn't uh, wait didn't you nah they didn't was it we we were using that house party app yeah for a while but happy for a while i feel like we used that house party app for like the first two days and then we all lived okay yeah let not, let not, maybe i'm just over exaggerating not for so. a while I think so. for a couple of days yeah. mara because i don't live alone that's so true. that it, that it, it that, that kind of made us, yeah. that kind of made things better for me. So now I really didn't. Did you close the door? Why is it so cold? Yeah, the door's closed. Why are you so? You are the one who's cold, babe. You're cold blood. So the lockdown really didn't affect me in any way. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So I a lot happened with me in the lockdown. Um, I think business wise we did really well. Um, I don't know. Somehow we doubled our income, uh, our profits. Um, so in, in work-wise, it was good, but I had a lot on my plate. Um, and also because there's no structure during lockdown. Everybody thinks you can work whenever they want you to work. Yeah. So I had people emailing me at like midnight and people are expecting, you know. Um, I think social media was a bit weird for me during lockdown. It was overwhelming. It was overwhelming. Everybody wanted to be relevant on yeah. social media. Everyone wanted to chat. Yeah. Everyone wanted to do something on social media. And I just felt, geez, man, it's a lot. Um, of course, I wasn't in a relationship. So that was a bit challenging for me because, you know, sometimes when you're not in a relationship, but you, you're not under lockdown, you can hang with your friends. Mm -hmm. So they kind of fill that void. But now when it's locked down and you and you left and, and you left by yourself yeah and now and i was very afraid of starting relationships during the lockdown because they're going to be flawed you know oh because they they are they are under a certain system because we are locked down um people tend to probably be nicer because they also are lonely where they are so they're giving you the the, the commitment. image that they just yes, they, is they're not... misrepresenting themselves yeah. because once they unlock the country it's a new one, right when there are other options when there are other options yeah, yeah and also you don't know who, who how many people they are talking to like that because it's locked down right now you know they have I mean, all the time in the, yeah they have yes. all the time in the world yes. to talk to more than two or to, three people to line up to line up like seven girls yes 
And also people... But as soon as, as soon as that lockdown comes to an end... It's a survival of the fittest. Monday. Because the other thing that Monday. I also realized was Monday. that people are making a Monday. lot of plans yeah. for when the country gets unlocked, you know. I mean, I've had many people promise me road trips, because I'm always posting about road trips. Yeah. No, go on a road trip together, you know, like those kind of things. Road trip. And I think the other biggest thing is that... Adventure. Yeah, people... Yes. Because now a lot of us are posting about things that we really like. A yes. lot of people are, are now playing to our interests. To your interests. Yes. That's true. What one? So it's been... What are your interests? My interests? Yeah. I'm a very simple person, eh? I... I like... I like being together. Doesn't matter what we're really doing. So even with my friends, I like being around my friends. Can I watch that song? It's fine. Can I, can I but let's that, just be together. Together, together. We are together. Alright, so you like My it. friend is your friend, and your friend is my friend. Yeah. So I like being, I, even, togetherness. even when I'm dating somebody, I think my biggest thing is to be around that person. If you don't do anything, you kind of like... I, hold on, hold on, I actually want to talk, talk about that. Yeah? Space in a relationship. Is there space in a relationship? There is, I think there is. I think, I think it's about how you ask for the space yeah. and when you ask for it. You can't ask for it when you guys are frustrated already. It's too late. Because the moment you ask me for space, when we are now really frustrated, it, you are, you go, it, it feels like you're rejecting me. You're going out to fuck some bitches. There you go. It also feels like that. You, got, you are a new bitch line. You got a new bitch lined up, don't you? <laughs> I think you almost have to like, it's a penultimate, it's a penultimate um, request that thing. You gotta, you gotta time it well, but also you gotta have answers for when somebody says, "What does it look like?" Because the problem is that when somebody says, "What does space look no, like?" No, no, no one ever has answers for the that. The, the space. I'm not talking about, uh, you know, Nicolette. You know, I think you and I need space. Need space. No, not that space. What type of space are you talking about? Yo, I don't want to talk today. Yo, go to your place. No, but what do you hey, mean? Yo, I'm going to my place. Yeah, let me just go. Maybe it's a good thing let, so that let, you let, can explain to me why men don't don't let, let, let me let me just spend <sighs> But why was Why was I think the biggest is communication. I think I think if you are dating a person that's just overwhelming, that's <laughs> how is a person overwhelming? <laughs> oh get <laughs> But how did you date that person? Because you honestly nah, don't like but, an overwhelming person. Nah, nah. How did you get into a relationship with that person? Nah, but it was nice then. You liked it. You liked it then. So, so, so you created that person and said it's okay for her to be like that. No, no, no. It's not. It's not me creating uh, precedence where it's okay to be like that. I genuinely liked you. How no, how no visual. But now I feel as though. So something has changed. Yeah, a lot of things are subject to change, and I yeah. feel as though. <laughs> You're a lot. You're a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna go for two days. I'm gonna go for two days. I'm not going. I'm not, not go going. I'm not going, going out. anywhere. I'm not going out. I just want to sleep. I just want to. And I don't want you in my face. I, I just want to sleep. But relationships are about compromise. What if she also needs to be with you? Look, I don't like, mind. Like that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like a person like me. Oh, but I, I, yeah. yeah. I don't mind a clinic girlfriend. I don't mind a clinic. A clingy girlfriend. Hang on to me, baby. You don't, you don't mind. That's don't toxic, mind. though. No, not clean. No, no, not the toxic clean. What type of other clingy is there? There's the good clingy, man. The, the constant, it? the constant. Check. That's not clingy. That's that's adult communication. Why do men think when women want to communicate that thing? <laughs> you actually just no, no. You just defined normal relationshiping as clingy. No. As good clean. No. Yes, you did. No. No. You didn't even give me okay. a chance to finish. Sorry. So, the clean that I'm talking about is, is the, the, the constant signs of affection and I'm here and we are in this, you know, and 
the, the constant checkups. Like I don't mind that. I like I really do. I, What's I, the opposite of that though? A person that can go quiet the whole day. Like a lot of a lot of dudes are are okay with <laughs> with their girlfriends. <laughs> With not talking to their girlfriends the whole day. Really? The whole day. That guy, talk with that guy, that guy that, that doesn't like you. Yeah. I don't know, no names mentioned. Yeah. The guy that doesn't like yeah. you. You know what I'm talking about. No. Or oh, the tech guy, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's uh, he, he's okay with. But you see, he, he, he he's okay with with you know. Watching his tweets seems like he has something he has to work through. But there are guys that are cool with that, and there are girls that are cool with that. Okay, hey, I don't want to talk to my man every day. What are we talking about? Why would you not talk? To, okay, you know, let's 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 dive, let's let's dismantle this thing. I, like, you are dating someone hold, hold and you're for a day. Hold on, I can't I, I can't dismantle it because, because you're not that person. I don't live like that. Yeah, I, I, we need to bring somebody. I don't, I don't if have, you are out there and I'm, you are the type of person who says I can go three days without talking to my person. You need to come and have a People like that exist. But those are people that have other options. There's no way, guys. Nah, I don't think... I'll... Yeah, okay. Some of them have options. They're having They're... chats with other people. So here's my thing that I figured out, man. And I, I saw this with one of our friends, man. Mm -hmm. Men often get into, into futuristic relationships. Futuristic relationships. And, this, and when, when I say men get into futuristic relationships, I mean that they want to lock somebody that they want for the future. But they're afraid that oh, they yeah. the person Oh yeah, now. oh yeah, oh yeah. Right? I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Shit! <laughs> and I think you know who I'm talking about. No, 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 no. I don't know who you're talking about. I know <laughs> yeah. someone that you don't know. Okay. That, 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 one, that. that once told me that. Yes. I asked him, this, this girl. I don't know about this girl. Right this girl loves you, bro. Yes. And he was like, yeah. And then, Lina, Lina, I'm a But just not. Mara. I'm not a girl. I'm not a girl. I'm not a girl. Yes, in the coming years. But many not men now. do that, though, so and some of them don't even realize it. He, he's damn, he's damn lay by in this girl. Yes. Oh, he's gonna pay her off in the next ten years. Yes. That's when he's gonna. But by the time he pays her. off, she's tired already. Nah, some of these girls hang on. Yeah, some of these girls hang on because they don't have options. They don't have options because Lebanon, they don't put themselves. Yes. Out because to it's that be, thing about it's that thing you know? it's that thing about allowing a bad behavior from a man from the start, and if you keep allowing it, it will keep happening to the point where it becomes normalized. Yeah. But but that's my thing. So as I was saying, a lot of men do that. They 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 love dating future wives. Yeah. Right now, which is why he can say, "I can go three days without talking to." Her. He's securing. He's securing. Because he's securing. He's securing his his, yeah. his baby mama and, and his baby mama or wife. Potential wife. wife because yeah. Nicolette seems like she's got her shit together. Yeah. Nicolette seems like she will be a 